Life in the Garden, brought to you by Nourish. Learning about nature together with your friends, Brandy Butternut and Jake. Jake? Jake? Ah, Jake. Jake Jalapeno, with special guest, Ryan Rutabaga. Jake, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? You're hitting the garden with a hammer. Why on earth would that be obvious? Pest control, Brandy. Pest control. Well, what exactly are you killing? I don't know. Uh, but if it moves, then I, then I get it. Ooh, not that one. Why not? Jake, it's a ladybug. Ladybugs eat aphids, which eat other plants. Ooh. My bad, little fellow. Go on. Go on. Yep. Yeah, See, Jake, that's why it's important to know what bugs are in the garden. Besides, there's an easier way than, for pest control than hitting things with a hammer. Let's go talk to Ryan at Sacred Earth Farm so he can teach us a little bit more about pest control. All right, but I'm sure it's not going to be as much fun as using a hammer. We'll see. You. Hey, Ryan Rutabaga. Hey, Jake. Hey, Brandy. Hey. So we were just talking about pest control. We were wondering if you could tell us a little bit about it. Oh, yeah. This girl right here, she's our great form of pest control. She eats all the bugs that we're gonna go and look at in the garden. Well, can you show us around? Sure. Gardens may struggle with pests in the form of beetles, flies, worms, slugs, bugs, or aphids. While it is never advisable to completely destroy a pest population, times exist when steps must be taken to limit the pest impact. Inspect your plant closely and look for signs of damage, such as wilted leaves, holes, brown spots, or decaying fruit. Fortunately, for the small garden, there are simple, natural means to go by for pest control. Although it may be distasteful, inspecting your plants and hand-picking bugs is very effective, especially for larger bugs. Chickens are also extremely effective at pest control and will eat just about any beetle, grasshopper, slug, ant, or bug. They will scratch the soil and eat larva as well. So now do you see why bugs are so important to the garden? Yeah, I do. There's lots of easy and natural ways to control insects without using a hammer. Mm, that's true. What's wrong? You seem a little sad. Well, I, I just use my hammer on a lot of bugs. You know? That's okay, Jake. Bugs have short lives anyways. Besides, they're not going to last long through the winter. I still feel bad. Well, that's a good thing. That shows that you value life. What's that on your hand? Oh, this? This is just a little stick to mark the bugs that didn't make it. You know what I mean? You know, it might look like you have a lot of sticks in the ground, but in relation to all the bugs that are in the garden, it's really not that many. Well, that does make me feel a little better. I'm going to get something to eat. You want to 